what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel today. We are going to be doing a five best and five worst. I haven't done one of these in a while. I felt like it was time and I really wanted to tackle eye toppers. So an eye topper to me is a cream liquid or powder eyeshadow that you put either on top of an existing eyeshadow look or on its own to add some type of pop, whether that's a lot of glow, sheen, or sparkle. Eye toppers for me is the cherry on top of the sundae. The Sunday being your eyeshadow look. If you ever feel like your eyeshadow look is kind of lacking something, if it's dull, if you kind of want to add a little bit of sparkle, eyeshadow toppers are always there to kind of have your back and just give give your lid a nice little shimmer, a nice little glow. Let me know in the comments some of your favorite eyeshadow toppers. I would love to hear them. Hit the thumbs up button if you did enjoy today's video and subscribe if you're not subscribed already. And without further ado, Let's get right into it. Hi friends, Editing Jamie here. I just wanted to jump in here and just let you know, I do do swatches for all the eyeshadows on my actual eyeballs. It, they made my eyes so irritated taking them on and off, so it does look a little bit messy, and my eyes also look a little bit irritated, so kind of sorry about that, but I just wanted to show you how they actually looked and applied on the lids because they are eyeshadows. So I just wanted to make that little disclaimer. Enjoy the video. With my five best and five worst, I always like to start off on a positive note. So let's start off with my five favorites. So when I was putting together this list, the very first eyeshadow that came to my mind was this little guy over here, the Hourglass Scattered Light Glitter Eyeshadow. When I discovered this eyeshadow a couple years ago, I feel like this is really what propelled me into the world of eye toppers. So eye toppers can sometimes be very glittery, even sometimes a little bit unflattering. And what makes the Hourglass Scattered Light eyeshadows so gorgeous, and I've said this a million times before, is the fact that it's a mature shimmer. This is not a shimmer or glitter that you're gonna put on your lid that's going to scream, oh, she's wearing glitter. <laughs> it's instead going to scream, oh, are her lids glowing? majestically. It gives you the shimmer without being too loud about it. I also really love the formula of this. It's almost like a hybrid between a cream and a powder. It's kind of like a creamy pigment. So when you put your finger into it, there's not a lot of kickback, not a lot of fallout. So when you actually go in to apply this on your lid, you're not going to get a ton of glitter on your face because that's definitely a huge thing with toppers. That's something you really need to look out for. And in some of the worst toppers that I have here, that's definitely what happens. It does not happen with this because of that really nice creamy formula. It really adheres to the lid really nicely. These have been in my collection since they've released. I've had them for years and they still continue to sit right at the top of the list for me and that says a lot. So these are definitely probably like mm, close to number one for me. I don't know if I could say that actually, I may take that back, but it's up there. <laughs> if that's the oldest eyeshadow topper that I have in my collection, let's talk about the newest eyeshadow topper that I have because this little eyeshadow over here blew me out of the water. And lately I've just kind of been meh about the products that have been released, but this one really caught my attention and really got me excited to like put it on my face. And I haven't had that feeling in a while and it made me feel so many different different ways. <laughs> so this is the M Cosmetics Cosmic Pearl Dewy Eyeshadow. And I feel like the name Dewy Eyeshadow really fits this type of product perfectly. In the texture, these are definitely more on like the creamier side. So you really get zero fallout with this type of formula because it really does adhere on the lid really nicely. And I find that this does have less shimmer and more of a glow compared to the Hourglass eyeshadows. The name Dewy Eyeshadow really does fit this product perfectly because when you look at this, it doesn't scream shimmer or sparkle. It really just makes your lids glow. So when you put this on your lid, either on its own or on top of like more of like a matte eyeshadow to add a pop, it's just gonna make your lids look glossy. And sometimes that's exactly what I want. I don't really want any insane shimmer or sparkle on my lid. I just want that glow and I'm so happy that this product exists because it gives me just that. Opacity is also something that is important to consider when it comes to an eye topper because there's some eye toppers that are really just sheer shimmer and those can be really beautiful in the right circumstances, but then there are other eye toppers that can be worn on their own and do have pigment to them. Both the Hourglass and the M Cosmetics eyeshadows have pigment to them so you could totally wear them on their own but you can also layer it on top of another eyeshadow and still have some of that underneath eyeshadow show through so that's also something to note so these are gorgeous if you want more of a glossy dewy look to your lid 
Mm -hmm. Okay, so we have the oldest one in my collection, the newest one in my collection. Now let's talk about the one that I feel is the most underrated. I hear nobody talk about these and they are so good. Whenever I do wear one of these, I always get so many comments about what is on my eyes. And it is the Dazzle Shadow Extreme from MAC. I would say that these do have a little bit more fallout compared to the other two that I just showed you, but they still do have that really, really nice creamy texture. What I love so much about these is I do find that all of the shades are so gorgeous and multi-dimensional. And when you put them on top of your lid, it's like you almost don't know where to look because there's just so much beautifulness happening. Like this particular shade, for example, the Joie de Glitz, is kind of this like green gold color. It reflects like three different types of greens and then like three different types of golds. And it's just so gorgeous. It's a very unique color. There is glitter in here, but the glitter is really fine. It's not like chunky. It doesn't feel gritty or anything like that. So it still looks really nice and mature so to speak. And what I do really like about these two is that you can wear them in two different ways. You could really build this up and create something like super, super intense, or you can take a really sheer amount of this and kind of just pat it on your lid and have a completely different effect, which is really cool. Okay, let's dive into liquid eyeshadows. Liquid eyeshadows are really great to use as toppers. They can be a little bit more tricky. They just kind of require just a little bit of knowledge of how to use them. I could not not mention the Kosas 10 second eyeshadow. So the Kosas 10 second eyeshadows are very unique. You may be looking at it or using it for the first time and just not really fully understanding it because it is just a little bit of a odd type of eyeshadow. I have nothing else like this in my collection. So when you look at it, it looks very liquidy and you almost wonder like, how is this even going to work on my lids? Is it gonna go everywhere because it is so liquidy? And it doesn't, I can tell you that much. So what you have to do first is you have to mix it. So you gotta shake it up and it has a nice little doe foot applicator. You put it on the back of your hand and then you have the color over here. You could take your finger and dot it on top of your eyeshadow. Of course, you can also just take the applicator and draw it directly on your lid. So what I love so much about Kosas 10 second eyeshadow, especially in the shade Globe, is that it is so impactful. Like it makes your eyes sparkle and shimmer and glow. It does everything all at once, but it does so with like such minimal effort. For something to be so glittery and eye-catching, but you really just need to apply it with your finger like this, and then it just stays and there's zero fallout because it's a liquid, it's amazing. And not only that, but these last beautifully throughout the day. They do not fall like some glitters do. They do not fade. They stay just as beautiful and sparkly and gorgeous throughout the entire day. That's why they're called the 10 second eyeshadows because if you wait longer than 10 seconds to blend them or to like work them in or whatever, they will set down and not move. The one thing I will say about the Kosas 10 second eyeshadows is they're really not all made equal. For example, the purple shade is just really not very good. I find that it doesn't really have a lot of impact. It's kind of patchy, doesn't work super great. The copper halo shade is very pretty, but this one doesn't really have a lot of shimmer to it. It's more of like a soft metallic. The supreme shade is definitely also really pretty. This one is like very, 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 very glittery. It's not my absolute favorite. Globe is really the one shade in the collection that like, is just everything to me and it really hits all the boxes. So all the products that I've shown you guys so far are either glossy, glowy, or shimmery, but I haven't shown you a pure glitter yet. And yes, glitters are considered eye toppers. If I want any type of glitter on or around my eye, this is what I will be using. Glitter can be a really big pain to apply. You need like glitter glue and primers and then there's fallout and it just becomes a huge mess. These are great because they're just so easy to use. They're supposed to be glitter eyeliners, right? But obviously you can use them in any way. You don't just need to use them as an eyeliner. Um, I pretty much exclusively use these as toppers. Now, if you want like a super opaque glitter eye, this is not gonna be your guy. You're not really gonna be able to get something super opaque with this, but if you want a nice scattered glittery lid, this works perfectly. I'm gonna demo this for you guys. So I'm using the shade Midnight Cowboy, which is like the gold and silver shade. And I'm just gonna go ahead and kind of just paint it on my lid. And it just kind of creates this like constellation of glitter. So you could put it on your lid like that. I'll zoom you guys in even more. Here is a closer look or you can even concentrate it like towards the inner corner of your eye if you want. But you see how it just kind of 
adds this nice little sprinkling of glitter. It's really very pretty. And like I said, so easy to use. So these come in a ton of different colors. I actually have almost every single one in my collection and I always have them handy because if I do ever want a glittery eye look, like I said, this is what I go to. So. All right guys, it is now time to dive into my five least favorite eye toppers. Very first of my worst eye toppers that I want to talk about is this guy from Gucci. And this is a clear eye gloss and I kind of want to put eye gloss as one of my least favorite eye toppers just in general, but specifically this one from Gucci because it's just so expensive for really nothing. So don't get me wrong, an eye gloss can be so beautiful. If you want your eyes to look glossy, yeah, this will obviously give it to you. It is it is glossy stuff. It is considered a multi-use gloss, so they say that you can use this on your lips, on your cheeks, on your eyes, and it creates a gorgeous, like, glossy effect. It's pretty. The problem with eyeglasses is that it will completely break down the whatever eyeshadow you have underneath. And if you don't have eyeshadow, if you put the eyegloss on, it will likely kind of just start to travel around your face at a certain point if, you, if you're wearing it for an extended period of time. The use for eyegloss definitely has its moments. I'm not discounting that at all, especially for like editorial shoots so beautiful or if you want something really grungy like putting a really dark smoky eye on and then putting some eye gloss on and you want it to kind of like smudge and look a little bit messy beautiful like I really do love that but i just feel like some people may be purchasing this thinking that it's going to just give them this like really glossy eye look but instead they're just be really disappointed because it's going to not really work in the way that I think that they want it to work. And so I just think that these are better avoided. And if you are looking to get an eye gloss, don't get it from Gucci just because you're gonna be paying way more than you need to for it. Like you could literally use a clear lip gloss from the drugstore and it will give you a very similar effect. So those are my two cents um, for eye glosses as eye toppers. This product here from Makeup by Mario um, called the Master Crystal Reflector Highlighter really, really disappointed me. So this is a product that's meant to use as a highlighter, either like on the cheeks or on the eyes. And when I got this, I bought it specifically because I thought it would be for the cheeks, but when I got it in the mail, it was so glittery that I was like, I was, I'm was, i never gonna put this on my cheeks, so this is going to now be an eye topper. And I put in my little eye topper drawer up here. So this is a very, very, very sheer product that's very chunky and sparkly. And I'm kind of just left with sort of nothing. Like it kind of gives a little bit of a shimmer, a little bit of a glow, but it doesn't really give me anything where I'm like, wow, this is, this is awesome, I love this. And I've tried to use it so many times, but I'm never able to get the effect that I feel like this product should give me. And that's what disappoints me so much about it. And I just don't like how chunky the glitter is in here. I just don't find it very flattering. So this is definitely um, an eye topper product that I don't enjoy and would not recommend. Next, I have a product here that I wish, I wish worked because it is actually quite beautiful. So this little guy is a little eyeshadow trio from Kaja. I actually have a couple of these because I really do love the effect that these eyeshadows give. This one in particular is in the shade Rosewater and it comes with three different eyeshadows. The two top eyeshadows in here give me topper vibes. <laughs> the last one though, can definitely be a topper, but it's a little bit more of like a, just like a metallic eyeshadow. So I'm really just chatting about these two guys up here. But my problem with these is that there's so much fallout. And even if I use an eyeshadow primer, it just seems to fall no matter what, especially throughout the day. Like even if I initially apply it and things are looking clean and looking good, it doesn't really matter because by 2 p.m., there's like piles of glitter underneath my eyes and that's why these just do not work for me. And like I said, I really, really wish that they did because I really love the effects that these eyeshadows give my eyes. I would love to know if you guys have tried these and if you have found an eyeshadow primer that really works for them because I would love to be able to make them work. So number four on my list is the Urban Decay Moon Dust Eyeshadow. And my issue with the Moon Dust Eyeshadow is that they are so difficult to apply. When you touch them, they're actually not very smooth at all and kind of hard in the pan. And because they're so hard, I actually find it quite difficult to like pick up the pigment and it's a little bit annoying to apply. And I just find that it just doesn't apply very well because it's not a very smooth texture. And being that there are so many gorgeous 
toppers out there that have like really smooth, beautiful, buttery textures. I just don't have time for ones that aren't, you know? I, I feel like these came out before all of these other guys came to be. Um, and it's a little bit lacking in the formula for me. So for those reasons, these are just kind of not for me. So guys, believe it or not, I'm actually gonna stop it there. I don't have a fifth eyeshadow to talk about for my worst and I'm not just gonna pull something out just to talk about it. So we're gonna leave it at four. I hope you don't mind. Normally I don't do that. I do do five and five, but sometimes, hey, I just can't think of a fifth. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments your thoughts on all of the toppers that I spoke about today and what are your favorites and least favorites. I would love to hear them. Hit the thumbs up button if you did enjoy today's video and subscribe if you're not subscribed already and I'll see you guys in the next one.